Hey there guys, how's it going? And welcome to another Gold Gun video in my Black Ops 2 Gold Gun series. Uh, today we are having a look at the Ballista Sniper Rifle. And I have to say, apologies for a little bit of a delay in the upload. I've been trying to get out two of these Gold Gun videos a week. But when the weapons are something it's a little bit more difficult to get clips with, like a Sniper Rifle or any of the specials, stuff like that, uh, there can be a bit of a delay because it just takes me longer to get gameplay. I don't want to just upload a game where I get a decent score. I want to put together some different clips, some different attachments of me doing well so you can see the uh, weapon doing its business so anyway let's talk about the ballista sniper rifle this is actually the first sniper rifle uh, that I've done a gold gun video for I do actually have the DSR gold but I haven't done a video for that one yet but I thought the ballista was just a little bit more interesting I was a little bit worried about using this weapon uh, I'd heard a lot of people complain about hit markers and all this stuff but after using this I have to say this is definitely my favorite sniper rifle I just love uh, the way it handles it's got more uh, ammunition than the DSR and I've messed around with the other ones obviously the SVU and the XPR and I just don't really like them as much I think this weapon is actually very powerful uh, I was 99 times out of 100 getting a one-shot kill with this thing uh, reason being is because I aim for the chest if you aim for the chest upwards you will definitely get a one-shot kill with this and for me that's what sniping is about you know you shouldn't really be getting one hit kills when you hit people in the leg with a sniper okay I understand some of the snipers that are more difficult to use and are a bit slower then that's understandable that they're one shot kill everywhere but I kind of like the idea of I have to hit them in you know at least the chest to get that one shot kill this was actually probably my favourite clip out of the ones uh, I got here start off with a triple C4 and then I managed to do some work here I missed that one throw back I can't remember if I have fast hands there uh, but I always throw back grenades if I can because at the end of the day if you're so close to the grenade that it's going to blow you up you might as well try and throw it back at least a lot of people don't actually uh, cook the grenades when they throw them so the Ballista Sniper Rifle, one shot kill from the chest up. You will get a hit marker, you know, in the legs and in the arms sometimes. Uh, but you should be aiming for the chest. Now, attachments. What do I think are good attachments for this? Personally, when going through them, the only one I really liked uh, was the laser sight. I tend to find I didn't need fast mags. It's got seven bullets in the magazine, so that is plenty uh, to get a nice feed or something and get a lot of shots away. Uh, other ones, like a suppressor, are actually quite good. The suppressor um, is actually quite decent you don't lose much damage I mean technically you're not meant to use lose much damage at all or any damage at all but I found when I use it I did tend to get a few more hit markers but it's still a very decent choice if you want to try it out I didn't find that I needed extended clip um, because it has seven bullets in each magazine uh, but laser sight was my choice generally iron sight is decent and you'll see some clips here of me using the iron sight but the main problem with the iron sight isn't the fact that you don't have a scope to look down it's the fact that there's no zoom in obviously and when you're aiming down the sight and I'm used to with a sniper having that little bit of zoom which just helps you out so I actually much prefer uh, using the uh, normal scope but the iron sight isn't a bad option you can still do work with it uh, but like I say I use laser sight because not only does it uh, increase your Hip fire accuracy, but it it decreases the size of the reticle on your screen, which I tend to found uh, tended to find help to me uh, with aiming. Now, in terms of perks, you could go with toughness, but like I've said in previous videos, I tend to find that people who shoot me with sniper rifles, they still don't get any flinch. Um, when I'm using the sniper rifle, I do notice it a little bit, but to be honest, I've found so many times I've been shooting people, and there's hardly any flinch when you're, they're being shot at. The toughness is a bit of a maybe one. Maybe you could try it out. Dexterity sounds like a good idea, because after you sprint, you want to aim down your sight quicker, but to be honest, that's not really much of a problem uh, with a sniper rifle. It sounds like a good idea if you're going to be quite an aggressive sniper but you do tend to normally find you do actually stop before you aim in anyway no matter how fast you kind of uh, use this thing so I think this is a very good sniper rifle if you want to be kind of aggressive close quarters uh, it aims down sight faster than any other sniper rifle which is obviously really good for you guys who love all the quick scope and it's a perfect quick scope weapon and you can just pull off some really really nice clips with this uh, I actually much prefer it to the DSR I think if I uh, decide I'm going to go sniping one day I will definitely use the ballista. So because of this, it is high power, it's fast to use, fast aim down sight, decent amount of bullets in the magazine. I've given this a 8 out of 10. Uh, very decent indeed. I suppose if it didn't get, if it got less hit markers, I'd make it a 9 out of 10. But you do sometimes get the hit marker. But like I say, what's the point in sniping if you're not even going to aim for around the chest? Surely that is the thing with sniping. It's about, uh, you know, a bit of a test of accuracy to show that you can uh, aim quite well. And here you can see, I'm managing to get some really nice clips with this. 
Now, I actually uh, decided to go for one attachment, and because of that, I could actually go for a pistol. I would definitely recommend going for a secondary here, either a machine pistol, automatic pistol, or a uh, single shot pistol. All of the pistols are really good in this game, so I would definitely recommend maybe just having one attachment. I don't think it needs more than one attachment. And then running a pistol secondary, I found that that saved me. And if I wasn't going for clips with the gun, and I was just all round decided I liked using sniper rifles, that would definitely help you out in the long run when someone just runs up on you, close range, bust out a pistol, and you can use those. So that's my perfect combination. Ballista with a secondary, laser sight, perks kind of do what you want. Some of them might help you, some of you might not. But I, I just think this is a really great sniper rifle and uh, definitely my favourite one out of the lot. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a cheeky like rating if you did and suggest in the comment section what gun you would like to see me get next or weapon. Anything you can get gold camo for, I'll be getting gold camo for. So thanks for checking out the video. As always, guys, if you're watching some Machinima Respawn, my link is in the description. Go subscribe over there to see these a week earlier and I'll see you guys soon.